saying what. Okay, now here comes the really fun thing if you want to take on a challenge. And that is on this side of the page. This has directions on how to fold one of these. This is a jumping frog or toad depending on how you decorate it. Are you going to make big eyes? Are you going to make little eyes? Now this takes some patience and some perseverance to do this. Oh, and I'm going to show you. And then these pictures also show you. Okay. So we start with a piece of paper that has been cut into a square. And you're going to see this little dotted line right down the middle. That's telling you, that means if you see a dotted line in origami, that means you have to fold it there. Anytime you're folding origami, you never do it in the air. You never make nice folds if you're trying to do it in the air. I put it down on the table. I very careful. Origami takes some, like I said, patience because you have to be careful. Um, fast doesn't work. And I make sure those corners are lined up. And then I go down here and I do a really nice crease, right? Take your edge of your finger and you push down and I have a really nice crease. Now this looks just like number two. And now we look at this dotted line. And it's telling you to very carefully line up these edges, which I'm doing. And again, I'm doing it on a table and I'm going along with my finger so I have a really nice crease. Now I'm going to open it up, but I need to make an X because I need to now take the other side and bring that over to that edge. And again, I'm not trying to race. Racing doesn't work with origami because if you don't have things um, lined up, then it doesn't work out. And again, some people can get frustrated with origami, but the more you work at it, the better you will get at it. Okay, so now I open it up. And I can, do you guys see that X right here? Okay. The next part is always a tricky part for me because I'm like, well, how do I get from here to here? And I, and these little arrows are kind of trying to tell you what to do, but I'm going to show you. So you have to take the side. So I'm saying this looks like a big, tall building. So I'm taking the two sides. And if I did really good creases, you didn't do good creases. This part is going to be hard. And I'm and I'm pushing those parts in. This is hard. You might want to work with a buddy on this. So those parts go in, right? And now to me, if I'm thinking about what it looks like, it looks like the roof of a house. So now, and again, I'm going to crease it really good. It's looking a lot like a house, don't you think? Yeah, so we're here at number seven. Now, oh, nope, that was number six, where I pushed those sides in and brought the top down. Now I'm to number seven. And it's kind of showing you, you're going to take like the little like part of the roof that you can. All right. And you're going to right there to the middle, I'm going to fold it up. So it sticks out a little bit, just like that. And that's right down that center part. And now I'm going to do it on the other side. Well, I don't know. Some of you might say, ah, I think I know what it's starting to look like. Okay. So I'm always looking. This is what I did. And then when I look at the next one, yep, that's what it looks like. And then it's telling me that I'm going to take this bottom of the house and fold it up to the roof. And so now I have a much shorter house. Yeah, there we go. Now I got a short house with some little things sticking off of it. Okay, now this part's a little hard to see, so I am going to make it a little bit bigger. You're going to be folding in these sides, and again, slow. Look at that. I'm going to match up those lines, and then I'm going to crease it down, right? 
I don't know what we put there, but we put a little something. And then you're going to do it on the other side. Now, I'm folding a whole lot of pieces of paper at this point because it's been folded over a lot. So sometimes it's a little tricky, but you still want to go and make that good crease. And we are now all the way down to number 10, which we're going to fold it again. Oh, my gosh. We've taken this big piece of paper. We have folded it up so many times. I have a whole lot of paper in here. But again, I'm going to fold it. Ugh, I'm kind of fighting with the paper a little bit. going to crease it down here. I got one last fold to do. I'm going to fold this back down because you might have guessed that these are the front legs of the frog. And now I have just folded these two parts down and I have the back legs. You see this? There we go. And if you see how it looks like a frog, isn't that cool? Now you're going to get to do all sorts of things with it. You're going to get to see if you can make your frog. Ooh, I landed on the back. But you can take a pencil or something else and you can put in some eyes on your frog, right? There you go. And you might notice there's going to be a little pond in the middle of your table. And you're going to see if you can jump your frog and make him land in the pond. Go ahead, try it, right? Now, sometimes you might have to try it twice, but slow and steady will make it work.